local, live, late breaking. This is KMAX News at 10. Just uh, keep the prayers coming because she, she is going to need them. Just weeks after graduating from Texas Tech, 23-year-old Cameron Herridge was in a terrible car crash in North Texas tonight fighting for her life in the hospital. Hi there, everybody. I'm Brian Mudd. And I'm Lauren Motter. Her friend who was in the car with her was killed. Cameron's now on life support, and doctors say she's defying all the odds. KMAX Cameron Mendoza spoke with her uncle earlier today. Yeah, Brian and Lauren, Cameron's uncle told me it's been a long road already for their family, but with support and prayers, even from here in Lubbock, the family has faith. Cameron will come home. Cameron has over 20 breaks in her body from her pelvis to her neck. Um, at the moment, her skull is not technically attached to her spine. It's about the only thing not broken is her spirit. After a night out on the town, 23-year-old Cameron Harridge and her friends were heading home for the evening. Dallas police say a Ford pickup truck slammed into the back of their vehicle, causing a chain reaction crash, killing one of their friends and injuring the rest. We've learned the vehicle hit them going about 70 miles an hour while they were stopped at a red light. Uh, you know, just doing all the things that you're told to do. They had, they'd been out that night having fun. They had a designated driver who was completely sober. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's just amazing that more people did not lose their life. An outpour of support coming from all over, including friends from Cameron's old stomping grounds right here in Lubbock. I would like to say to the people specifically in Lubbock is, uh, we hear you and thank you. Um, my mother and my sister, they spend every minute in the hospital room so much that my little sister actually just lost her job today. Uh, and my mother's not able to work. Um, and the GoFundMe, honestly, it was to allow them to be there. The Harridges faced with difficult decisions daily, whether or not to take Cameron off the ventilator, but one most recently giving them hope that there is light at the end of the tunnel. The big issue around Cameron right now is brain swelling. They've already removed a large part of her skull um, and the brain continues to swell. Um, that was supposed to be a six hour surgery and in less than two hours, the doctor came out and looked surprised. And it's just amazing. My dad asked, what's the big difference between today and uh, last Thursday, when you were making the recommendations you were making, and the doctor just kind of smiled and said, you're going to have to ask God. And Tim posted, as of today, Cameron is stable, and they will be doing a CT scan to see if the brain swelling has gone down. Meanwhile, police did arrest that 27-year-old Carmen Guerrero, who hit Cameron and her friends, then took off on foot. She's still in jail tonight. Her bond is set at $575,000.